That's a beauty. On today's show, an adventure to a very unique fly-in fishing camp operated by a Minnesota legend. His name, Bob Lassard, former fishing guide, former legislature, and still a man with connections in high places, including a seat in a fishing boat. Look at that, baby. Hey, it's a winning fish. And later, calling all crappies. Yes, it's almost time to hit the water for the Minnesota Bound Crappie Fishing Contest on Lake Minnetonka. Details coming up. Those stories and more next. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Hi, everybody. Raven and I welcome you to the show. We are going fishing and spending some time with a Minnesota icon. His name, Bob Lassard, a former legislator and a man about town and a real character. Let's go fishing. Just across the border from International Falls, Minnesota, it's only a short flight in a Rusty Myers float plane before you glide down to a small fishing camp on Ontario's Trout Lake. And before you can ask, where's the walleyes, you're already reeling them in, a stone's throw from camp. That's a beauty. If you get one ahead of me, I'm not happy. I'm happy. Well, you're happy. <laughs> but this is no ordinary fishing camp, because this one belongs to a Minnesota legend, Bob Lassard, affectionately known as the Old Trapper. I used to say, hey, what about the Young Trapper? Well, they call me the Old Trapper. I don't know how that handle got hung on me. Now in his early 80s, Bob Lassard has operated a fishing camp since 1954, not far from Rainy Lake where he grew up. My dad never saw me from the time I was about oh, 14 or 15. I was on the North Arm of Rainy Lake, the Canadian side, and uh, a lot of commercial fishermen, they kind of raised me and I got the fishing bug. And when I got out of the service, uh, there was a little camp, Spawn Inlet, far into Rainy Lake, and this guy got to know kind of liked me and he saved it for me, and, we, and he gave it to me for almost nothing as long as I could pay it back in 10 years. Guiding and fishing. Maybe that's Bob Lassard's secret for survival. Nothing else explains Lassard's long career as a Minnesota legislator. He was elected to the state Senate in 1976 and, despite his many political leanings, was never defeated. He was first elected as a Democrat but he often supported the Republicans, and later he declared himself to be an independent. No matter his political hat, if the issue was preserving Minnesota's hunting or fishing heritage, Lassard was always leading the charge. I really enjoy a good fight. And he won most of them. Well, it was my life, you know. I, I just happened to be, you know, I was in the right place at the right time. And I just, I just did what I think a lot of people would have done. When you have a passion, you have to have a passion. And I had a passion, and and I lived it. I think I, I knew it. I, it's what I was, and I carried that passion through. I think through the legislative process, uh, through my 26 years. Let me tell you something. I don't take kindly to getting out fish. I really don't. I'm a real, you know what, when it comes to that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> We're going to have a great couple of days if that's, I can see a war coming on this one. Suddenly, the old trapper was making a walleye comeback. How many walleyes have you caught in your lifetime? I figured close to 100,000. <laughs> no, we just figured it out. But his fishing partner was showing no mercy. This one's bigger than yours. Another monster. Even a blind hog will find an acorn once in a while. Look at that. This one would eat yours, Bob. What do you got there, Bob? Pretty good one. <laughs> That's a hefty one. Bob's camp guests, guided by son Brett, also were reeling and smiling. Ah, oh, beauty. My dad, I guess there's no bigger honor, I guess, growing up um, than to have him as a father. It's more of a father-son relationship up here than it is anything that has to do with him as a legislator and a colorful figure, you know. For sure, finding hungry walleyes wasn't a problem, for some of us anyway. Nice walleye. You know, you're a pretty good guy. You know that? Boy, they're fat. I'll put them on your side here, Bob. 
I am getting a little fed up. Very competitive. <laughs> Come on, girl. There. It's the fish of the day, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that baby. Huh? I don't like it. I'm not happy. That was the fish of the day, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to beat you, though. Huh? I'm going to beat you. You know, you could be a little happy for me. <laughs> no, I don't like getting beat. Especially when I don't have a minnow on my line. Oh, yeah, I do. Sometimes a legend waits for better luck tomorrow. Well, it was a good day, Bob. This is awesome. When we return, we'll continue our fishing adventure with the old trapper Bob Lassard and friends. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Connecticut. Radco Truck Accessories. And by Starkey Hearing Technologies. Time now to continue our adventure in Bob Lassard's fishing camp. This time, the old trapper's going to lead me into a secret lake. Bob Lassard, the old trapper, might be in his eighth decade of fishing, but when it's time to portage to a different walleye hotspot, he leaves. Oh, we got about three lakes like this. Indeed, the life of Bob Lassard has had its ups and downs. He's been married twice, divorced twice, and he's buried two children. Today, his family includes son, Brett, who manages the fishing camp, another son, Sean, a Minneapolis police officer, and his daughter, Kelly, who's a public relations manager for the Minnesota Zoo. When's the last time you were up there? 12 years, I'm too old. I'm too old to climb up, and it's a long ways down if you happen to go to sleep, which I have a tendency to do in zero stand. <laughs> Our trail leads to an old fishing boat with Bob as captain and guide. Maybe Bob guaranteed the secret lake was teeming with hungry walleyes. If it was, the fish weren't talking. It is quiet. Quiet except for the rain. This is awesome. But rain never stopped a hungry walleye, it seems. And a boy. He's doing something different. Uh-oh. We got a double. Mine's bigger than yours. In a wilderness lake like this, Bob likes to cut the barb down, push it down like that. You don't cut it, just push it down, flatten it out, so. Easier to get those fish unhooked without hurting them. Good thing because the bite was heating up, including a rare catch or two. You got a double, Bob. Yep, you got a double. Yeah, I think it's a walleye, but. You know, you're good for netting. That's that's one thing you're good for. You're, you're a very good netter. One more time, mine is bigger than yours, Bob. That's a nice blue one. one more. Biggest blue I've ever caught, I do believe. Yes, a rare blue walleye found in only a few lakes. Okay, buddy, thanks for the fight. I should also thank my fishing companion. As a lawmaker in 1998, Bob Lassard played a big role in passing the constitutional amendment, guaranteeing Minnesotans the right to hunt, fish, and trap. Later, he campaigned for the Legacy Amendment, which voters passed in 2008. The council who decides how the fish and wildlife money is spent is called the Lassard Sams Council. Sams also was a conservation-minded legislator. Hi, right, go, go get your buddies, okay? Learn your lesson. He's <clears throat> fighting good. Uh, I know some people always laugh when I miss a walleye. <laughs> ah, what? Oh, he got off! Sometimes the fish just gotta win. I've never lost that for some reason. I'm, got, I'm just as excited when I get one or have as much fun now as I did uh, when I was 21 years old. When we return, more adventure at Bob Lassard's fishing camp. Closed captioning is brought to you by By the Yard, premier manufacturers of maintenance-free outdoor patio furniture and accessories from recycled plastic.
Time now to conclude our fishing adventure with Bob Lassard. You know, it always happens when you're having a great time, the great time has to come to an end. So does this story. If the guests who come to Bob Lassard's fishing camp get tired of hooking walleyes, let's just say there's never a dull moment. Great guy, nice guy, funny, competitive, very competitive. Tit for tat, we're tied. Especially when it comes to fishing. When I came up here uh, the first time, the walleyes, I, I tell everybody we're catching walleyes like sunnies. I mean, just one right after the other. It was great. Turns out the lake is called Trout Lake for a reason. What's your average lake trout here, Brent? Uh, I'd say between four and four and ten or twelve pounds, right in that window. And it didn't take long to catch one. There you go, bud. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, boy. Nice I haven't caught a lake trout in a long time. Look how dark he is. Do we eat him or is yep, going we're going to keep him? Oh, we're going to yep, keep him. Okay. Keep him. Soon another lake. Oh, yeah. Awesome. He goes in the pot. Turns out these lake trout were headed to Bob Lassard's fish smoker. 69 years. No, I started smoking about 10 years ago. I use uh, smoking salt, brown sugar, and a little secret ingredient. Denise, this has just been a godsend for smoking fish. There's no work to it. The old trapper has many outdoor skills, as you might imagine. But I ran Great Bear Lodge in the Arctic when I ran that camp, and see, I guided uh, Jimmy Stewart, Robert Taylor, and Gary Cooper. Basically, we just have a lot of fun with all the people that come up here. Up here, the fish are dumb. We catch a lot of them. We have walleye, northern, smallmouth bass, and lake trout. Sometimes I've seen them swimming right under the boat here. Okay, Bob. Pretty nice pike here. Well, I caught one the other day. I, that's no kidding, I would have eaten that one. Really? Well, we have up here, it's completely modern. We did. We built it and I said, the next one I build is gonna be, if, I'm gonna rough it in comfort. I'm, I was tired, I like to rough it in comfort, so that's what we think we accomplished here. Normally up here, we take anywhere between uh, four and at the most seven at a time. We can comfortably do seven, I just, I, you know, I do everything I can up here to make the guests comfortable, to make the guests happy, and um, through that, I know that he's happy. And that to me is, you know, what I live for up here. I just really want to keep doing what I'm doing here now as long as I can, and still remain this way rather than this way. And uh, that's really, uh, my goal. Bob's goal also involves showing guests the great smallmouth fishing. There he is. Let me get him up there. Okay. Ah. <laughs> this is a big sucker. That's a big bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big mama. Cool fish. Thank you for playing the game, buddy. I enjoy every day of this. I never get I never get tired of it. Living the dream. Call it Bob Lassard's Law. Hi, I'm Rob Dreesline, Managing Editor of the Outdoor News Publications. The 2014 Minnesota Fishing Opener is Saturday, May 10, and there are some big rule changes this year for one of the state's premier sport fishing destinations, Lake Mille Lac. The changes aim to improve walleye numbers on the big central Minnesota lake, which has been at the heart of treaty management controversies for 15 years. Good. With a mere 43,000 pounds of walleyes available for state anglers on Malak this year, DNR fisheries managers are implementing some changes to limit walleye harvest. Though the two fish walleye limit and narrow harvest lot will remain unchanged from 2013, the night ban on walleye fishing, which normally ends in mid-June, will extend through December 1st this year. The biggest change for Malak, however, affects some predator fish that the DNR believes may be impacting walleye numbers. When the new regulations go into effect on May 10th, Anglers will be able to keep 10 northern pike, only one of which may be longer than 30 inches. That's more than triple the normal daily pike limit for the rest of Minnesota. And Mille Lacs likely will become the spearing capital of the world this winter as the longtime northern pike spearing ban on the Big Lake is being removed. 
In addition, smallmouth bass anglers, who normally must wait a couple weeks after the walleye opener to catch their favorite fish, can start keeping Mille Lacs smallies on that May 10th walleye opener. These changes have not been without their critics inside and outside the pages of Outdoor News, but the DNR maintains it's trying to maintain maximum fishing opportunities while working to restore walleye numbers on Lake Mille Lac. For regular updates on how the 2014 open water fishing season unfolds, check out the print edition of Outdoor News or read us online at OutdoorNews.com. I'm Rob Dreesland. Well, you're our new leader here. Coming up, what you need to know about the Minnesota Bound Crappie Contest set for May 3rd at Lord Fletcher's on Lake Minnetonka. Minnesota Bound is brought to you by Jesse Trouble Foundation Systems and Safe Basements Waterproofing, Grand Rapids Tourism, and by the Minnesota Agricultural Water Resources Coalition. Hi everybody, Ron Sharon Raven here. You know they say your home is where your heart is? All of which means we ought to take care of it, right? If you have bowed basement walls, Jesse Treble Foundation Systems is the first call to make. Their on-staff engineers will design a quality solution which will save you money. Their patented no-dig installation will ensure your walls are straight and stable and it comes with a 25-year guarantee. Now, if you have basement problems, give the experts a call at Jesse Treble Foundation Systems. After all, peace of mind is a safe basement. Now, if you're like me, you have the fishing itch bad, right? Well, coming up on May 3rd, our Minnesota Bound Crappie Fishing Contest on Lake Minnetonka at Lord Fletcher's you're invited. Here are the details. For anglers of any age, this is the fish of spring, the fish of joy, the crappie. I think I might have won. <laughs> and crappies in springtime always seem willing to bite. There you go, Dave. This scenario is a Minnesota tradition crappies and springtime. Hey, it's the winning fish. Winning fish? Well, maybe if you're entered into the 46th Annual Minnesota Bound Crappie Fishing Contest, the 2014 version is coming up May 3rd with headquarters on the docks of Lord Fletcher's Restaurant on Lake Minnetonka. Here are a few highlights from last year's contest. A family event held rain or shine or chilly. Beautiful day out here, a little cool, but... Uh... Crappie of any size can be a winner, it just needs to be weighed. Come on up, Jonathan. Jonathan, where are you from? I don't know. You know what, that's all right. You're from Minnesota somewhere, right? How many crappies did you catch? Two. 0.42 and 0.34. Do you know what that means? That means you just won a new fishing rod. Upwards of $50,000 in prizes are awarded. Bill, come on over here and chat with me. Yep, two bass. Sunnies, crappies, in the weeds. We donate a lot of rods to the event also, and the little kids coming up and getting these crappies and getting a rod, it doesn't get any better than that. Proceeds from the contest go to the Fishing for Life charity organization. We have multitude of boats out there that are sort of sponsored by the Ranger Pro staff, and they're taking a lot of our kids and families that we reach out to out fishing. I think it's vitally important. Uh, many kids, especially the ones we serve, come from urban environment or high-risk environments. If you're lucky in the drawing, you could win a G3 boat, Yamaha motor, and Shorelander trailer. And if you catch the heaviest crappie in the contest, very good. Well, you're our new leader here for temporarily. He says there's a bigger one behind him. You think this next fish, is this your fishing buddy? That's my pal. And he's got a bigger one than you? Come on, huh? Is this a new leader? The largest crappies to the scales win gift cards and bragging rights. Truth is, and this is no fishing tale, you can join the fun to catch a crappie even on a crappy day. Everybody is a winner. Fish more than your dad? Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, good for you. Well, buddy, here's what we have for you for that fish. A oh, fishing rod, huh? And the grand prize goes to? He's from Minnetrista. Brad Butler. Is that you? You want it, Brad? Uh, we caught probably close to 40 fish today. We checked uh, four fish in today with our group, 
and we uh, we won a boat. Thanks for the great day. We got a big one. Oh my God! Holy <laughs> sakes! Look at this boat. You know, it doesn't matter whether I'm catching walleyes with Bob Lassard or crappies on Lake Minnetonka. Love it all. That about does it for us. Remember, introduce a kid to the great outdoors. I'm Ron Cher, and of course, always the star of the show is Raven. Mm -hmm. Transportation provided by Premier Transportation. Call 1-800-899-7433. For more information on these stories and more, catch us on the web at mnbound.com.